I was reading recently, I, I think a, um, it's a book I've always loved. It's called The Empty Space. It's by uh, a, a director called Peter Brook, who many people have heard of, who set up the Center for Theatre Research in Paris. And Peter Brook was um, impassioned about theatre and, and the power that theatre can have in people's lives. But he felt that most theatrical experiences didn't convey that and, and were not really worth having. So he said, I really want to look at the heart of theatre and make that the, the most potent force it can be. So he said, well, to do that, how, what are we talking about when we talk about the theatre? And he performs in the book a thought experiment at the beginning and says, let's get to the heart of it by taking a typical theatre experience and seeing what we can subtract and still have theatre. What can you remove? So he said, well, you know, you could take away the curtains. You don't need that, uh, those. You could take away the lighting, providing you can still see what's going on. Actually, even if you can't, you know, you don't need to see it necessarily. Um, you could take away the script. A lot of theatre doesn't have scripts. You could definitely get rid of the director. You know, theatre functioned very well for a long time without directors. You could get away, therefore, with the technical crew. You could uh, get rid of the stage. You don't need that. Actually, you could get rid of the building. You don't need any of it. He said, get rid of all of it, actually. Um, the only thing you can't do without, if you're interested in theatre, is an actor in a space and somebody watching, an actor with an audience, even if the audience is just one other person. And he said, that's the heart of it. That's the irreducible minimum, an actor with an audience. And he said, so therefore, it's that relationship we're, we're trying to cultivate and improve. And he said, you should never add anything to that relationship unless it does improve it. If it gets in the way of it, get rid of it. Well, you see, to me, the analogy with education is exact, because at the heart of education, when people talk about getting back to basics, I wish they would, you know, because at the heart of education is the relationship between a teacher and a learner. And sometimes the learner becomes the teacher. But that encounter between somebody who is trying to facilitate somebody else's learning is the heart of the business. What's happened over time is it's become encrusted with every type of distraction, you know, with building codes and timetables and curriculum statements and assessment procedures and examinations boards and university entrance requirements and political ambitions and um, union bargaining rights and every possible encrustation. And in the middle of it, too many people have forgotten what the business is really about, which is helping people learn. And I think for head teachers, it's important to remember that's what the business is. It's not about trying to come up with the, uh, a timetable that's balanced, you know, or uh, some logistical feat you know, that manages to make the most of how many 40-minute periods there are. All of that is in the interest of learning. And if it gets in the way, get rid of it. Do away with the timetable. Start again. Tomorrow, you know, you know get clear the desk and sit around and you know, have a moot and say, well, if we were to get back to the heart of that, what matters most? And really that's in encouraging a process of reinvention, of recreating education for this generation and, you know, and for this year. John Dewey always said that. He said, you know, democracy is just an ideal. It has to be rediscovered by every generation. And I think if we lose the power of rediscovery, then we lose sight of what it is we're really trying to do. You know, we get caught up in the illusion of institutional efficiency. But in the middle of it, the thing we're trying to support has died. And keeping that alive, I think, will ensure the vitality of the whole institution, providing we get it in the right proportion.